So how many of y'all missed going to grandma or granddad's house, pulling out the old photo album and getting the stories and history behind those photos? How many of y'all missed that feeling? Well, since not too many people is doing that no more, this is my version of that. This gives me that feeling, right? This is 20 most mysterious, odd historical photographs discovered in old photo albums. Let's check it out. It's often said that old historical photos with their unexpected backstories can convey far more than a thousand words. Take, for example, these photos found by various people that turned out to be more than what they seemed. From death photographs to remnants of the past war, here are 20 most mysterious, odd historical photos discovered in old photo albums. Number 20. Victorian Death Photography The love of photography has been evident in mankind throughout history. In each period, new photography techniques were introduced. But perhaps one of the most bizarre and odd trends that ever surfaced in the field of photography was Victorian Death Photography. This bizarre and intriguing practice emerged in the Victorian era, where admittedly, most things and practices were already questionable by today's standards. Just as its name suggests, Victorian death photography, also known as post-mortem photography, involved taking photographs of deceased loved ones shortly after they passed away. This practice may strike us as peculiar, but it has its own unique reasons. You see, far from the mortality rate that we have in most countries today, Many families experience the tragic loss of loved ones, especially infants and young children, at a rapid pace. After all, disease was rampant, and limited medical advancements were done at the time. These photographs served as a way to remember and commemorate the deceased. To this day, some families still have Victorian death photographs being passed down in their families. Most of them look like normal photos, given how stoically people posed for pictures at the time to compensate for old cameras. But of course, you can only imagine how terrified people are today after learning that one of the two subjects in the photo is no longer breathing. Do you think people today would be open to engaging in this bizarre photography practice? Yeah. Would you? Personally, I don't think I have the courage to do so, but perhaps some of you might be intrigued by the macabre. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Unexpected Buddy. E equals MC squared. We all recognize the proponent of this formula, created by one of the great minds that ever lived, Albert Einstein. In this photo, you would think he doubled himself, but this shows the great scientist with one of his friends. Well, with the way the two look so alike, this picture- I thought that was his dad. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, okay, that's Albert Einstein and his pops right there. But they look like bookends. It looks like an artist with their stunt double. This is just among the several photographs posted on the internet where people express their astonishment upon learning that their grandparents had a photo with the great Albert Einstein. I'd be surprised too if I discovered that my grandma once conversed with a great scientist. Who wouldn't? Albert Einstein, a name recognized worldwide, is synonymous with genius and scientific brilliance. He is renowned all over the globe for his groundbreaking contributions to theoretical physics, particularly his theory of relativity. His equations transformed our understanding of space, time, and the universe. His name is recognized by virtually everyone, regardless of their background or interests. It's quite hard to believe, but it's only been 68 years since Einstein passed. He lived a relatively long life of 76 years before dying of a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm. Many believe he would have lived longer if he wasn't a devoted pipe smoker, but I reckon he's already left behind a valuable legacy. We continue to expound and use the knowledge and data that he contributed throughout his lifetime. If it weren't for Einstein, perhaps the majority of the foundational work for science wouldn't be as advanced. It's no wonder that families continue to treasure unexpected photos of this scientist with their loved ones. Number 18. The Creation of Hoover Dam This might look like it's an edited modern photo, but this actually shows esteemed gentlemen who are most likely among the higher-ups of the six companies. This conglomeration built the Hoover Dam. This photo is enough to showcase the massive dam construction materials. Now you're probably wondering about the context of this image. Well, it's most likely that the circular metal tube is being held up high by a crane. Although it looks like they're suspended precariously high in the air, there's a possibility that it wasn't the case. And instead, 
They were on the other side of a cliff, with the ground just a few feet below them. Yes. I thought they was on the other side of the dam, like on the inside of it, over the water or something like that, man. Either way, it's crazy to even look at. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this don't look like they're inside of some studio with some type of backdrop that makes it look like this. This looks real. This is the old version of what we now call clickbait. Despite that, you really can't take away the brilliance of the construction of the Hoover Dam. Situated on the mighty Colorado River, the Hoover Dam was conceived during the challenging times of the Great Depression. Its construction was no small task, and the limited technology available in the 1930s made it an engineering wonder. The construction of the Hoover Dam required innovative solutions and unprecedented coordination. Engineers and laborers faced blistering heat, dangerous working conditions, and the daunting task of diverting the Colorado River. Of course, the ones who were in real danger were the laborers. Although we now recognize the Hoover Dam as a marvel of engineering, about 112 lives were sacrificed for its See? completion. And so, to this day, many keep construction photos of this dam as a memoir. Number 17. The Abandoned Families Imagine you're on the road in an isolated part of Nevada when you suddenly stumble upon what seems like an abandoned town. Houses were dilapidated and cars looked like they'd seen better days. When you stepped inside one of the homes, expecting to find nothing but ruined furniture, you were instead welcomed by the smiling face of a creepy mannequin. Sounds spooky, right? Well, if only it weren't destroyed by nuclear tests, such a town would exist. The survival town is a place where not a single soul ever lived. This photo shows the population that made up this town, mannequins. You see, survival town was not a typical town. Instead, it was a test site for the United States nuclear weapons program during the mid-20th century. In 1955, as part of Operation Q, the U.S. government constructed an entire simulated town in the Nevada desert to study the effects of nuclear detonations on civilian infrastructure. Survival Town included houses, cars, mannequins, and even dummies representing citizens. The aim was to understand the impact of nuclear explosions on buildings and the potential for survival in the event of a nuclear attack. On May 5, 1955, the government conducted the first test, detonating a 29 kiloton nuclear bomb over Survival Town. The results were captured in photographs and films that continue to fascinate and surprise us to this day. Number 16. The oldest recognized photograph featuring a person. This photo might not look like anything remarkable, but it's considered the oldest surviving photo of a human person. This picture is often referred to as Boulevard de Temple. It was taken by French and veteran photographer Louis Daguerre in 1838. Boulevard de Temple captures a bustling street scene in Paris, with buildings, carriages, and pedestrians. Now you're probably thinking, bustling? I don't see a single soul in sight. Well, there's an explanation for that. Upon closer inspection, you can discern a man having his shoes shined. Unfortunately, due to the long exposure required for cameras at the time, his figure turned into something almost unrecognizable and ghastly. In 1838, photography was still in its infancy, and capturing moments required long exposure, making it nearly impossible to photograph moving subjects. The man, having his shoes shined, likely stood still long enough to register on the plate. This photograph serves as a stark contrast to the instant high-resolution images we're accustomed to today. It's pretty remarkable in showing us just where the field of photography began. Number 15. I, I want to know as well, did they call them photographers back then? Like, what were they initially called? You got to think, this stuff is all brand new. The camera is brand new. Photography is brand new. But they just called the instant photo guy or the photo guy or the man who makes these pictures or what were they called back then? Or were they from their jump called photographers? I know that's simple, but it was something that a uh, question that popped in my brain for some reason. Children for sale. The Great Depression of the 1930s was a tough time that brought homelessness, starvation, and unparalleled economic hardship that affected millions of people across America. Families were torn apart, and children often bore the brunt of these circumstances. This photograph allegedly shows a mother putting up her children for sale. You can see the big sign that read, Four children for sale. Inquire within, as if the children sitting on the stairs were nothing but a commodity. During the Great Depression, 
Jobs were scarce, and poverty was rampant. Many families could not provide even the basic necessities, leading to heartbreaking decisions like the one depicted in this photograph. Some accused the woman in this photo, Lucille Chalifo, of accepting money to stage the photo for the newspaper. The truth is unknown to this day. Dang. After the newspaper publication that showed the photo, it seemed that many were touched, and several people reached out to Lucille with job offers and financial support. And yet, all of the children in the photo, including the one Lucille was pregnant with at the time, were gone and ended up in different homes. Now I know you're just as curious as I was when I first saw this photo, so I'll briefly tell you the fate of each child. The youngest of the children, David, was adopted by Harry and Luella McDaniel, a good family that offered him a better life, but was described as strict. David grew up to be a rebellious teen who eventually ran away from home at the age of 16 and ended up spending 20 years in the military. On the other hand, Rayanne and Milton Chalifo, who were sold by their birth mother for $2, were treated less than humans. The couple who adopted the two treated them as mere workers. There wasn't much news about Lana, but she lived until 1988 before dying of cancer. Number four. If you don't have kids, then you might not understand this, but I don't understand or see how anyone could ever give up or sell their kids. The very people who come from you come from you they're they're a piece of you how can you sell or give away a piece of you and then you look at their little faces bro i don't care what type of situation i'm in it still is not that bad enough for me to give up that piece of me them no 14 full swim mask now this photo doesn't show a person in a spooky costume this getup is something you would typically see in swimming pools in the 1920s and 1930s. While it served a practical purpose, it's hard to deny that this vintage swimwear looks rather spooky by today's standards. Back in the early 1900s, swimming was a popular recreational activity, but swimwear was vastly different from what we're accustomed to today. Modesty was highly prized, and people sought innovative ways to stay covered while enjoying the water. With this full face mask, the swimmer's hair is protected, and her face is also shielded from the sun. This, along with goggles, can also completely protect the user's eyes from chlorine. Although it served its purpose, even I wouldn't wear something like this, as it could risk someone mistaking me for an underwater creature and potentially causing harm. Number 13. Halloween in the 1900s. Halloween, the holiday of ghouls and ghosts, has evolved significantly over the years. In today's time, you might see people dressed as superheroes or quote-unquote influencers, as the generation today now calls famous online figures. You might also see anime or cartoon characters, while some dress up as inanimate objects, from a Starbucks drink to a Lego piece Stop to a literal stoplight. With the advancement of technology, most costumes incorporate the most amazing things that make Halloween more fun. But I guess if we're talking about the fear factor, Perhaps this photograph that recently surfaced is enough to declare a winner. This photograph shows people dressed up for Halloween in the 1930s. Now, I don't know about you, but if I saw this bunch on an isolated road somewhere, I'd book it out of there as fast as I could. If I see that, I know the purge is here. I know it's here. It's not coming. It's here. You need to get in your house. You need to lock up. You need to board up all your windows and don't let nobody in, bro. These are the purge faces. Seriously, just look at these masks. Just an ordinary elf in the middle, and then we have several masked killers. Don't get me started with that cursed Mickey Mouse. Is that Mickey? Looks more like a killer mouse to me. This is just one of the several Halloween photos of the 1920s and the 1930s. And trust me, these guys weren't joking when they dressed up as spooky figures. They seem to have mastered creating the most unsettling and horrifying masks back then. Trick-or-treating was probably a blast at the time. If people today dressed up like this, I'd probably be creeped out just a little after opening my door. Number 12. The Hidden Mothers In the early days of photography, capturing a family portrait wasn't as simple as saying cheese. Again, cameras at the time had a long exposure time, and people needed to stay still for about 15 minutes, sometimes even longer for a photo. And so you can only imagine just how hard it was to capture photos of kids. But of course, 
Victorian mothers found a way for their kids to remain somewhat still for a photo. Hidden mothers were mothers who, while holding their infants, concealed themselves under blankets, curtains, oh. or even large fabric props. Just take a look at these photos and tell me that you're not creeped out because I surely am. But well, I guess if you know the context, that it's not that creepy. creepy. That's usually the case, isn't it? Something gives you the creeps until you know the backstory behind it. With that being said, let's take a look at this next photo. Number 11. Two women with long hair. This photograph will surely make you feel a bit creeped out. Here, you can see photos of two women standing on their porch. What makes this photo a bit unsettling is that the two women have incredibly long hair, wearing long loose dresses and posing with their hands hidden. Now I don't doubt that these two women were beautiful, and perhaps even the friendliest folk around the neighborhood, but I think we can all agree that in this photo, they look like they're up to no good. But for a little context, during the late 19th and early 20th centuries, long hair was particularly popular in Western societies. For some, it's nothing but fashion. But beyond that, some religious and cultural traditions also place great emphasis on long hair. In various societies, individuals, both men and women, grew their hair as a sign of devotion, strength, or spiritual significance. In this photograph, these women, with their remarkably long hair, were likely adhering to the beauty standards and fashion norms of their time, as well as possibly influenced by cultural and personal choices. So no, no black magic or malicious intent involved. In fact, you might even find that some of your relatives actually had their hair long, just like these women. If you're one of the people who dug up old photos of their grandmothers or great-grandmothers having Rapunzel-like hair, then share your thoughts in the comments down below. Number 10. The Original Ronald McDonald Burger? Nuggets? Ice cream? Most of us go to McDonald's when we crave that unhealthy yet satisfying food. Some of you might remember that fast food restaurants had vibrant hues of red and yellow in the past, but today, most of them have been converted to minimalistic establishments with dull colors. Today, even their mascot, Ronald McDonald, is rarely seen anymore. Interestingly, McDonald's- is true, why we don't see them do any commercials with him out front being like the mascot? I don't see that no more. Like, on none of the marketing, really. It's interesting, though. I wonder why. McDonald's decided to phase out Ronald McDonald in 2016 during the creepy clown craze, an era marked oh. by widespread reports of individuals dressed as menacing clowns appearing in various places and often behaving in unsettling or threatening ways. Sadly, a few people with ill intentions had to ruin the light-hearted spirit of Ronald McDonald. But have you seen the original mascot? If you take a step back in time to the 1960s, you might be surprised to discover that the original Ronald McDonald looked quite different from the friendly clown we know no today. Way. It's hard to imagine that someone thought he was the right choice to represent a children's restaurant. Seriously, the original Ronald McDonald was introduced in 1963 as a marketing character for the McDonald's fast food chain. He was portrayed by Willard Scott, who later became a well-known weatherman. The I thought he was about to say Wayne Gacy. I just knew they was about to say the original was Wayne Gacy, but we know how that played out. Ronald McDonald was a far cry from the cheerful, approachable clown we know today. He sported a tray-like hat adorned with different menu items, a cup for a nose, and a costume that can only be described as eccentric and even somewhat unsettling. I think it's the makeup and wig that creep me out the most. McDonald's was still a relatively new and growing franchise at the time and they were trying to establish a memorable character to attract children and families. As time passed, McDonald's realized the need for a more reliable and less intimidating mascot. In 1967, the character received a significant makeover, transforming into the familiar, friendly clown we recognize today. And I'm very thankful for that. Number 9. A Massive Grave Imagine standing on top of a big pile of skulls. I can't imagine just how guilty I would feel if I did something like this. Right. It might sound bewitching or astonishing to some, but we can all agree it's somewhat disrespectful. This photo shows a time when bison were hunted almost to extinction back in the 19th century. In fact, their numerous numbers were reduced to a few hundred by the mid-1880s. Just like elephants, these creatures were hunted for their skins. They were skinned, 
and the rest were left to decay on the ground. And so, they were used as fertilizers while homesteaders collected their skulls. In time, bison bones were used in refining sugar, and the market for their skulls also grew. They were soon used in making fine bone china, and each bone fetched the price of $2.50 to $15 a ton. It's heartbreaking once you hear the actual figures. You see, when modern Europeans arrived in North America, there were about 50 million bison that roamed free on the continent. But in the 1800s, the number of bison remaining alive on the continent dwindled to as low as 541. Local ranchers realized that the animals might be hunted to extinction and took it upon themselves to gather the existing herds to save the species from extinction. For Native American Plains Indians, bison held profound cultural, spiritual, and economic significance. The near extinction of these creatures brought about profound changes in their way of life with devastating consequences. It was a turning point in history that prompted conservation efforts and legislation to protect the remaining bison herds. Thankfully, these efforts have led to the recovery of the bison population. What's truly unsettling is the ongoing repetition of history. While it may not seem as rampant or immediate, the unfortunate reality is that we're slowly but surely driving many species to extinction, even today. Number 8. A Masked Family this photo was captured when the Spanish flu became a global health crisis that affected the world in the waning days of the First World War. The cat, Spanish see that even the cat, even the cat has on the mask. I was wondering, and before I looked, I saw the, but I didn't really pay attention to the mask. I was thinking to myself, I wonder if the cat could get it, could contract it. Then I looked down and saw the mask. I'm like, I guess so. Spanish flu, which raged from 1918 to 1919, was caused by the H1N1 influenza A. It earned its name not because it originated in Spain, but because Spain, a neutral country during World War I, reported extensively on the pandemic, bringing it to global attention. The impact of the Spanish flu was unprecedented. It infected an estimated one-third of the world's population, and its death toll is estimated to be between 50 million and 100 million people worldwide. Well, this photo shows one of the many families affected by the flu, and it seems like they're quite prepared for it. You can even see the little fella in this photo wearing his very own mask. Number 7. Cabaret of Hell In the middle of Bohemian Paris during the late 19th and early 20th centuries is a place known as the Cabaret of Hell. The Cabaret of Hell was a unique and unsettling establishment in the Montmartre district of Paris. It was part of the vibrant cabaret culture of the era, but took a decidedly macabre twist. The entrance to the Cabaret of Hell was a menacing mouth of a devil, complete with fiery red eyes and sharp teeth. As patrons stepped inside, they were greeted by a surreal and eerie atmosphere. The interior of the cabaret was designed to resemble the underworld. It featured dark cave-like walls, flickering candles, and creepy props, including skeletons and demonic figures. Those who found photos of their relatives visiting this establishment were expectedly stumped. Who would have thought such an establishment existed as early as the late 19th century? Number 6. The Men Who Felled the Redwoods These aren't dwarfs cutting down normal-sized trees. These photos show real human beings cutting down the oldest and tallest trees on Earth. Logging operations began in the mid-19th century as pioneers and entrepreneurs moved westward in search of opportunities to cut down these trees. Early logging methods involved felling these colossal trees using cross-cut saws, hand axes, and later, steam-powered equipment. The challenges were immense due to the sheer size of the trees, which could reach heights exceeding 300 feet. As the demand for timber grew, so did the scale of the logging operations. Enormous steam-powered machines were brought in to cut down the redwoods, making it possible to process larger volumes of wood. Of course, this logging took a hard toll on the giant redwoods. Vast areas of pristine forests were cleared, and many of these ancient trees were felled to meet the demand for lumber during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. These trees are something we can never recover. Number five. All that history, bro. I was sitting there thinking the same thing, man. Uh, they knew, but I, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt and be like, yo, they didn't really know what they were doing. You know what I mean? It, Maybe it was out of just the sheer need, the need of it. But man, it sucks to see all of that history just go because you can never get that back. Miss Lovely Eyes contestants. Now this looks bizarre, 
But this photo features ladies who are part of a contest known as Miss Lovely Eyes. You see, this contest was done in the mid-20th century, particularly in the 30s and the 40s. Contestants would wear masks that covered the majority of their faces, allowing only their eyes to be visible to the judges and audience. It's pretty apparent from the name of the competition itself that people in this contest only cared about the eyes of the contestants. Now, I don't know about you, but rather than highlight their beauty, these masks, on the contrary, are making these ladies appear spooky. Yes. Number four. Two children unaware of a tragic face. fate. The Holocaust was a genocidal event during World War II in which millions of innocent people, primarily Jews and other targeted groups, were systematically persecuted, dehumanized, and murdered by Nazi Germany and its collaborators. It's one of the darkest chapters in human history. And that's why, to this day, Photographs and significant places of the Holocaust are treated with respect. Now I want you to take a look at this photo and just imagine, suppose you have a younger sibling, a child, or perhaps a nephew or a niece. You can even imagine yourself. Imagine being in the position of either of these two children. You're walking hand in hand with a friend, not knowing that in a few minutes, you would be subjected to harm, abuse, and ultimately cruel death. These two children are just among the countless innocent young lives that were taken in the Holocaust. It's essential to remember the victims of the Holocaust and to learn from this dark period in history to ensure that such atrocities are never repeated. Number 3. A seemingly normal photo with a horrifying backstory. This photo seems ordinary, doesn't it? It's an old vintage photo with several officers happily posing after getting a much needed rest day. But let me ask you a question. How long will your conscience disturb you after ending the life of several children? Most of us would probably be unable to sleep or perhaps even eat after learning we've caused the demise of a young life. But these people act like their hands are clean and they've done nothing atrocious. You see, these men and women were Auschwitz staff posing for a photo in the concentration camp where countless Jews were abused, neglected, and severely mistreated. But let's look at the Holocaust in this picture on a deeper level, shall we? You see, during the Holocaust, Nazi Germany employed a range of propaganda techniques to manipulate public opinion and justify their actions. It is possible that these people, both men and women, didn't see the Jews as human. From their standpoint, the people they're treating inhumanely are the cause of all the problems in their society. Perhaps these thoughts made it possible for them to commit such an unimaginable act. Again. If history is bound to repeat itself, I pray that this dark period for humanity will be something that won't happen ever again. Number 2. A few seconds before happiness. Back in the day, the pace of life was different. Children, free from the distractions of modern technology, reveled in the sheer delight of running, playing, and exploring the world around them. And a dog would be the best companion, don't you think? In this vintage photo, known as A Few Seconds Before Happiness, you can see a young boy whose life is about to change. Perhaps, a few seconds after this photo was shot, he let out the most excited squeal after seeing his new best friend. While we don't know much about the child in this photo, I'm sure he felt immense joy and led a happy life with his dog. And now it's time for today's topic. This seemingly innocent image is among the most mysterious, odd historical photographs discovered in old photo albums. This woman looked incredibly beautiful, but when a relative found this image, she was astounded. It turned out that her grandmother wasn't just alluring when she was young. She also knew how to fight. Her granddaughter claimed that in this photo, her hand had that familiar white powder used back in the day in practice ranges. You can only imagine the untold stories her grandmother had. <laughs> Number 1. Kindness in the Battlefield In the middle of the chaos and fighting in the Korean War, this soldier chose to nurse a tiny two-week-old kitten back to health. This photo shows Sergeant Frank Prater caring for the small animal, whom he would soon call Miss Hap. As the kitten got older, Prater shared his cans of ration meat, and she even became a big girl. It's a touching story, isn't it? That last photo was really touching.